Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to show you how to clone some virtual machines and I'm going to be using Virtual Machine Manager and this is uh, on Linux obviously and uh, it, this is also using KVM virtualization. So what we're going to do, you see all these SRVs on my uh, little menu here, so web serve, net serve, mail serve, file serve. Well, basically it's uh, I'm building out a network infrastructure. So what we're going to do is, I've already cloned a couple, uh, file serve and mail serve. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to clo uh, clone from WebServe. So this is like my base. So uh, we're going to clone a machine, and uh, it's going to be an authentication server. So uh, if you're doing this with more than a handful of machines, it's probably better just to have a base image to use it from. But uh, what's nice about cloning, and all you do is right click, is uh, you know you don't have to keep reinstalling and uh, going through all the uh, the whole install. Uh, you know with your images and ISOs and that kind of stuff. So not just that, but uh, you know you can put other things, you can kind of tune that base image a little bit more than if you're just doing a, uh, an install from the, from the ISO. So this one what we're going to do is we're going to call it auth serve. Okay. And it's real easy to do uh, to do this, this uh, cloning job here, but uh, one thing I just wanted to show you is shareable. Well mine, we'll just go to my web serve machine here and I check that myself shareable so the thing is shareable is not the default on your images so you're probably not going to see you're not going to see this share disk if you didn't specifically select uh, that uh, disk to be shared but anyways like I said I want this to be a separate a whole separate machine so I'm just going to clone it and that's going to be your default all right there so the name AuthServe, that's just going to be what shows up in the uh, Virtual Machine Manager list here. That doesn't do anything to the uh, machine that you're cloning itself. Details, what we want to do is we want to keep track of the new MAC address. So I'm going to copy that. We're going to change that in the new machine later. Okay. So we're just going to clone, and you're going to see why cloning is pretty nice, because give it a couple seconds, and it should just do its thing. And once it's working, then your uh, the image that you have, you can start it up and it works. But you do have to do a couple tweaks to it. Uh, like I said, with the MAC address that I copied, we have to change that. And yeah, there you go, auth serve right there. So we're good to go. And let's power it up. But uh, the MAC address you'll have to change, and you'll have to change the host name because even if it says auth serve up here, it's going to show up on the uh, on the CentOS image here as web serve. So we'll let this boot up, and I'll see if I can make it a little bit bigger for you. Let me just do that now. And to make it bigger, scale display always. And then you can just make it a little bit bigger. Okay. One other thing you can do, uh, just to kind of check and see how things are going, is your uh, performance of uh, how it's running. And I have two gigs, you can see, and how much the CPU, uh, disk I.O., network I.O., so uh, the stand uh, default is to have CPU and memory tracked, disk I.O. and network I.O. I put on there myself. How did I do that? Preferences, polling. See that? So that's how you want, if you want all these four graphs going, check disk and network I.O. in this polling in the preferences under that word manager there. But anyway, so we're back in uh, C web serve login. So it's the same uh, login information and password as what the other one was as a web serve was so what we need to do now is we need to do a couple things we're gonna change a couple things on the MAC address first so let's go into the VI Etsy oh, sysconfig network scripts and then IFC FG dash ETHO and I spelled something wrong let me go back Yep, I missed an I. There we go. Okay. So, one thing we're going to want to do is this UUID, double D, and delete it. Okay? So, that's the unique identifier, and it's not going to be the same. That'll cause problems. Next thing we want to do is we want to change this MAC address to match the one that we just created. So, that's going to be 4A. Oops. D1 ED. All right. WQ out of that. And after that, let's just uh, let's just see what we have with the IF config here. Nothing is up there yet. So let's just do a dh client, and this should go to the 
you see net, net serve here that's my DHCP server among other things so let's just give that a uh, chance and see if it comes up with an address and let's do what I have config and we have one let's do a ping google.com all right so we're good there with the IP addressing for that but we're not done because we need to change the host name so what we need to do for that is we need to go to vi etsy sysconfig network and just change that to auth serve a u t h s r v w q out of that and one other thing you need to do for the host name is go host name and just do it again a u t h s r v dot local net okay you want those things to match the host name in that file and the host name that you're putting in over here. So let's just do a host name and that is good to go. So now what we want to do is let's go and a uh, couple ways we can get back to this but one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and because this is a server I want it to have a static IP address. So right now we should be good to go if uh, if we restart logged out and log back in with the uh, so the name would change to auth serve. But before we do that let's go and uh, add a little bit to the DHCP config file so that uh, we can get a static IP address for this one. So what we're going to do is go there and I'll just show you a little trick and this is in VI or VIM so I want to copy five lines so I'm going to go 5YY this is five lines yanked so then I can go all the way down and I can go P and I paste those lines so then I can go now and I can go to uh, insert mode and just change and I don't have to retype everything. So that's kind of a little quick uh, quick tip for VI and VIM. So we'll just change a couple things here, auth serve and change the MAC address real quick. But you see why it's uh, I think this is kind of a better way than just reinstalling disks using the ISOs and stuff. Uh, it, it's real quick, even almost even quicker than I would say even like kickstart files, which are kind of an, uh, kind of automated. So hold on, let me uh, my uh, numlock on my computer here is a little messed up. Let me just go back into it. All right. Three five. Auth serve local net uh, dot local net. I'm just double checking here. Four AD one ET. Okay, good to go. All right, now what we need to do is go service DHCPD restart, and that's good to go. And now, just to make it official, let's just do a restart on this one. So let's just go shut down dash R now and we will give it a couple seconds to go through and do its boot up thing so it shouldn't take that long there's not too much to do here so we'll just wait and uh, let me just show you here too so you got your CPU usage you can change some of these things like even for example the NIC if I wanted to change over I could do that while it's running so that might cause issues, obviously, but uh, something, some of these things you can change while the computer is, while your virtual machine's running, some things you can't. So uh, this little light bulb is pretty interesting just to check out and play with, too, uh, if you're looking to kill time like I just was. All right, so let's go root. Oh, hold on, let me get to it. Root and my secret password. All right, let's do an ifconfig. Okay. DH client. Let's do that. One thing I've noticed is that when I do it the first time, like uh, the first restart, okay, 35. But what I've noticed is that the first restart, it's almost like you got to give it a couple more seconds or just do the DH client yourself and then it'll go out and uh, grab that static IP address because it's kind of negotiating in between. So, uh, But as you can see here, we have uh, the host name is auth serve right there so that's the change right there the MAC address uh, on that ifconfig that you see is the new one 
and the uh, IP address 172.20.0.35 well that's the one that we just added right there in the uh, NetServe machine so uh, it's all good to go and it's working and uh, that's all I wanted to show you today so uh, stay tuned for future videos